So here's the scenario. If you're like me, I'm always trying to speed up my workflow because I don't want to spend all day sitting at the computer. I've got a lot of other stuff to do, and I'm sure you do too, right? So today I've got some tips for you on how you can speed up your color grading workflow, especially if you use multiple different cameras or clips or different things in your timeline. But first, if you're new here, my name is Jay, Jason, doesn't matter, either one, Yedlovsky. And here we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, tips, tricks, how-tos, all kinds of good stuff in Resolve. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to my channel. Go ahead, hit that little button over there for me. All right, let's jump in Resolve, check this out. So this tip is gonna work the best if you have multiple cameras, multiple uh, different kinds of clips or groups of things that you wanna color grade. So for example, for me, in this video that we're looking at here, I've got my GoPro, got my 5D Mark IV, and I also have my Canon 60D, as well as I think there's some screen recording in here. So when I'm color grading, I wanna sort it by the particular camera because then it's easier for me to just to apply the same or similar settings to that particular camera. So check this out, in my project here, like I said, got a couple different cameras. I'm gonna jump into the color tab right down here. Now, usually in this area right here, you're gonna see all your different clips and everything from your timeline is just gonna be in there. But let's go ahead and sort these. So if you come up to the top here, you have clips, click your little drop down, and you do have some uh, different ways to, to sort things there. But what we're talking about today is the smart filters right here, create smart filter. So what I want to do is create a smart filter for each camera. So go ahead and click smart filter or bring up the menu. Now when it brings up the menu here, you have different options on how you can sort your clips. So if you click the little drop down here, the first one you see you can do by properties, clip details, shot camera, all kinds of different things. What I generally use is clip details. And then I'm going to just go with the file name because all my 5D Mark IV files have the same name or the same beginning part of them, uh, as well as my other cameras. I have them so that the, the first couple letters are, you know, tell me which camera it's from. So I'll do file name, I'll do contains, and then in here, you're going to type in whatever it is you're searching for. So in my case, it's going to be 5DIV because I know my clips from my 5D Mark IV all start with 5DIV. You can name your smart filter up here, call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this Canon 5D Mark IV. And here's a good tip. So if you wanna set this up and see it in all your projects, click on this guy right here, show in all projects. And that way this smart filter will always appear every time you're in the color page. You don't have to remake it for every single project that you're in. So that's super helpful. And I do that with all the smart filters that I use. So once you got it, go ahead and click create. And now you can see down here, we have sorted and it's only the clips from my 5D Mark IV. So another thing, come on up to back up to our clips menu here, click on the drop down, And once you've created the filter, you can click on this user smart filters and any of the ones that you've already created are going to appear right here. So you can see I have my 5D Mark IV, my 6DD, my GoPro Hero Black, and then this new one that we just made for the Canon 5D Mark IV. So I got two of those. So if I come in here now, I sort by my 6DD, boom, there's all my angles from my 6DD. I want my GoPro, clips, user smart filters, GoPro. Boom, there's all my GoPro clips. Now, a little bonus tip here. Let's say you maybe make a mistake on your smart filter or you want to edit it or update it. Come back to your clips drop down menu. You can do edit smart filter and then it'll allow you to pick any of those smart filters. So if I pick the one we just made, my Canon 5D Mark IV, I can click on the plus icon here. I can add in different uh, details that might help me, you know, get particular clips from that camera. And you can add in a bunch of these, I think as many as you want, probably. And you can sort in different ways and, and use different methods to kind of sort through your clips automatically, right? It saves you a lot of time and energy instead of having to go through one by one or group them in your own little groups or whatever. Use the metadata. It's there. You might as well use it. And it's going to help speed things up for you. So then if we're in a similar situation and we want to grade all these clips the same way, you can grade one of them and then select all your clips and then just use your middle mouse click, middle mouse guy right here to match all of your color grading settings from one particular clip. Makes it super quick and easy, especially if you're in the same kind of situations. Me and my studio here, I get lots of clips from a 5D Mark IV. They're all the same, they all get graded the same. So this is a super quick way to do it using smart filters here in the color tab. And then coming back to the clips menu here, just the other couple options, you can delete it if you need to. And of course you can rename it as well. You wanna change the name to something else. So that's it, smart filters here, love them, use them. They're gonna speed up your workflow, I'm telling you. The last bonus tip here for you, make sure once you're done sorting your clips, color grading and all that, you come back to your clips right here and go all clips. Otherwise, once you jump over to render your clips out, it's gonna say, oh, hey, you got a filter on there. You want me to turn that off for you so you can get all your clips in your timeline? So you wanna make sure you go back to all clips so that way you're good to go when you go to render out your project. Everything's in your timeline. You see everything and it all works out good for you.
That's it, guys. Smart filters. Use them. Love them. They speed things up for you. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, guys, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace. All right, so this tip... Uh, whoa, crack. <laughs> All right. Booyah. All right, I think, I think that's quite fine. That's it, dude. Quick, easy, quick tip Tuesday in the books. Love me some quick tip Tuesday. I go make some coffee now. Make a little coffee. Dude, it's freezing out here in Jersey today. What are we, the end of March? It's today the 28th, so I'm filming this the day before I'm going to put it out. March 29th, 2022. It's cold out there. 30 for the high. What? Freezing, bro. Where's spring? Come on, bring on spring. Come on. I need some nice weather. Want to get outside, film something outside. I don't know. Got to figure something out. Got to get out of the studio a little bit, you know? All right, I'm going to make coffee. I got to edit this up for you guys for tomorrow. Peace.